Hey, I'm Cal, that's Joey, we're with Midwest Flyways. Today we're gonna to talk to you about a spread that we like to use for our decoys, especially in the early season. This is referencing a W format. Essentially what a W does is it gives you a lot of different spaces for birds to sit down in. The birds can really just sit down in any of these pockets here. We've also got wood ducks up here in the reeds. Um, what this does here too is gives you a, a nice opportunity to put a diver line out on the edge of your decoys. Make sure that any of your decoys you're spreading out are about as far out as you're comfortable pulling the trigger at. So it might be 40, 50 yards uh, depending on your choke and how good you might be at shooting. Uh, the teal here are kind of sporadically placed. That's kind of how they'll sit maybe in like small groupings. Anytime you're setting up a decoy spread, birds are gonna wanna land into the wind. So whatever that means for you, make sure that your decoy spread is set up so that they have the opportunity to do that and come down and sit down in the right areas. So like we have here, we have our diver line. That's the furthest we're gonna be shooting. That's 50 yards if you have a full choke. So they're gonna be coming into the wind. A lot of those divers are gonna to wanna to sit on outside of the decoys. That's why you want these to be foam filled if you have them just because you will pepper them. With the early season W, there aren't any mojos out. I mean, people down south don't like to use them, but here we do. Normally I'd put a mojo in the spots where I'd want them to land, but since this is early season, we're not gonna be using them. You can have these be a raft of canvas back, redhead, bluebills, pretty much any type of diver, buffle heads. Be sure you have a jerk cord out there in the spread, at least two, I'd say for early season. If it's not windy enough, you need to be putting motion into your spread. Also remember with these mallards and these teal and these wood ducks to not just have them in a straight W. So you're gonna want them to be staggered. No matter what you do, you're not gonna be using, if you use a J hook uh, pattern, if you're using a W, anything like that, you're not gonna be setting up so it literally looks like a W. It's just kind of a guideline. You can see here that this is kind of a really ugly W. And that's basically what you wanna be going for. Make sure that if you're doing a W pattern, you're using at least 36 decoys. Right here, we've got about 50. Um, and if you have more, you can certainly work those in, especially depending on what you're trying to shoot. This is also set up to show you what it would look like in like a small pond or a bay. So again, with any spread that you have, especially in this spread, you don't wanna have all active birds with the heads are standing straight up. You want some to be feeding, you want some to be resting. You want some to be active. You want some to have their mouths open looking like they're calling at the ducks because you're going to be calling at the ducks. So you just want to give it, make it the most lifelike as possible. That's the key to these types of spreads. Landing zone, diversity, and movement are very key factors to any spread, especially the W early season. Everyone wants to go out there and shoot drakes because, duh, you don't want to kill all the females so that they can't repopulate for next season. So honestly, I would suggest putting more females out there than anything, especially in a mallard spread just because those are the birds that are actually calling. Even though our name is Midwest Flyways, we help hunters from all over the country. If you have an area that you're working in, you see different ducks, you might see different uh, weather conditions than we do, go ahead and give us a shout, comment, subscribe, anything like that, and let us know exactly what you're looking to learn more about. Uh, we've spent hours researching these different topics, and we're more than happy to help you guys out uh, coming up with a better pattern. Thanks for watching again, guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Tell us anything you want to learn more about. We'll be doing more decoy videos just like this.